So welcome to the first QEX3 event of uh, MentorPiece Software Testing School. And uh, for those who, um, who are new to such events, I, I would like to tell a pair of words. What is it right now? And what uh, are we doing today? And uh, what are we going to have as a result of today's uh, event? Uh, today we have uh, one uh, beautiful person, Alexander. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, welcome, Alexander. And uh, we will communicate with Alexander about uh, his future career as a software testing. And um, I hope he will share his doubt, his uh, um, intentions with us. And uh, um, I will ask some questions about uh, the software testing career, about his uh, goals his life goals and so on and uh, his personality because uh, we all know that as other as, as any other profession the software testing is not a profession for everybody because uh, you probably will not um, uh, argue with me that, uh, for example, a doctor is not a profession for everybody. The same for software testing. You should have uh, some special personality to be comfortable in this profession. And as a result of today's event, I think uh, I will produce some recommendation uh, to uh, Alexander if this profession is for him or probably uh, they should look to some other direction like a business an, uh, analyst, for example, or something else. Or probably uh, this profession fits you and uh, he will be comfortable in uh, software testing, okay? So, my first question, Alexander, what are you doing now? What is your current profession? Well, uh, I would like to say thanks first of all uh, for this uh, good opportunity to discover myself and, um, and it's good to see you. Well, uh, let me talk about myself a little bit. Uh, details so right now i'm 37 years old and uh, i'm a grown man uh, and i had uh, uh, lots of uh, different experience in my life at this point and um, uh, let me share with you my uh, two last jobs which i was doing uh, before i start to uh, turn myself into this it direction well, after I graduated from university, I was uh, working uh, as an engineer for four years. Um, I was doing um, this, um, I was working on some sort of the uh, weapon factory. Mm -hmm. We was producing the weapon and some, uh, uh, some sort of tools for them. Uh, I was doing uh, the uh, this uh, how to say that technical engineer. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, implementing uh, uh, some uh, uh, some processes in uh, production. I was writing the technology processes for, um, and uh, then you have to conduct them and uh, to make sure that everything works. So you have mm -hmm. to maintain these products. You have to follow the updates. He was doing. I was doing that. Um, you have to uh, implement the researches to make the process more easy, more um, effective. And I used to like that job. I was doing that for four years, as I told you before. And um, <clears throat> I will be honest with you. So I quit that job because the uh, the pay wasn't well. Mm -hmm. And I decided to turn my life uh, in a completely different direction. I start another career. And I was a seaman for 10 years. Mm. Well, as a professional, I say it, uh, I was a seafar. I was working for a foreign company uh, in a cruise line industry. Mm -hmm. So I was doing them 
a bartender job. So mm -hmm. I have no IT experience in my life at all at this point. Um, but I really interested in that because after I was doing well in my last job, because I was doing that for, let's say I was doing that for a money for a long time. Mm -hmm. I succeed in that. And um, at one point I decided to retire from the company. So I've done 10 years, and uh, then I said, okay, let's start to do something else. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, that job was, let's say, very hard. You have to be out uh, of home for six to eight months, as far away from your family, from your friends, from, mm -hmm. your, from everything that you get used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really impossible when you have a little baby, you know. So I decided mm -hmm. to tire to quit the job and to start something else. So I came home, and uh, after a while, uh, I was thinking, like, all right, what's next? <laughs> I sit on a table, I put the blank page on a blank list, and I was trying to think what I'm going to do next, because it was just a blank page. So I had nothing to lose, mm -hmm. and I didn't know where to go. And I write down the all things which I was really interested in. And you know, I was thinking about to start my own business, to be employed somewhere else. And um, after all, I realized that um, I'll be honest, like I would love to uh, keep working for a foreign country, uh, for a foreign company, mm -hmm. because I really miss that. And I really miss to work in international um, team and I uh, get used to it and um, why I choose the IT it's, uh, itself uh, because my point of view whenever you do something in your life with the people who I respect and you know they are much more higher than you they have better knowledge they are uh, intelligent they mm -hmm. Of um, people who inspire you, um, mm -hmm. and the end, you're gonna be a better person, and um, that's what I really like mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. develop myself better and uh, let's say grow higher. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, also, mm -hmm. um, uh, why I have choose the uh, the testing software because I don't know, I just upload in my mind all the information. I I, I read a lot of uh, uh, articles and I uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos and I was reading and then at the end somehow it came to my mind All right this is for you it's what you want to do it's this just came up in my mind because that's kind of person I am you know I like to I like to arrange the coffee mags on a uh, coffee mags on a shelf uh, to make them look in the same direction I love to make things perfectly wherever it comes up to if it's in a, uh, let's say, the apartment repairment or upgrading your car, or mm -hmm. doesn't matter. What. I just, um, I'm just having satisfaction from whenever it comes to the perfect product, and I love to use the perfect products uh, mm -hmm. as my own because I'm very picky, uh, <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, it's just part of my personality because I love to do that. I love to make things that as perfect as much perfect as it could mm -hmm. and uh, that's how uh, I get into this point that I start to uh, self-educating and, and trying to figure out what is uh, the software testing mm -hmm. so that's pretty much it mm -hmm. thanks for the attention yeah alexander thanks for such a detailed information about you uh, it was uh, really interesting and uh, i'm to be honest i'm very excited in your combination of professions <laughs> from the engineer to uh, semen and then back and then back to engineering and uh, probably my uh, first question will be uh, are you sure you will not be boring uh, about this software testing profession uh, after your previous profession because uh, probably uh, 
Is, uh, was that uh, the only reason um, why you left your first profession? Was money the only reason uh, why you let, uh, left uh, your first profession or uh, you had uh, something else? Some... Well, why are you leaving? Yeah, I understand that. Let's uh -huh. say I was trying to come back on my previous job, on my first job, when uh -huh. I quit my second job. But uh -huh. they told me something like, I can't pass through the security because uh, I've been outside of the country for a long time. I have different connections mm. with different countries. You know, I have a lot of friends mm. aboard. And then mm -hmm. they said, because this is a, something like a weapon, military protection, it is very secret. So you can't pass through that some sort of an F, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. FSB test, you know, and mm -hmm. um, I was pushed to go for some other different directions. And let's say the only one thing was disappointing me on my previous job, <clears throat> on my first job, that, uh, that job was very, you know, uh, it was uh, very specific, you know, it was an open market. Mm -hmm. uh, you have no big competition between the, let's say, somewhere else. You're just doing, you have money and you're producing something. You know, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not an open market. It's not what I'm looking for now mm -hmm. uh, at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's probably only one thing what was uh, making me bored on the first job, except mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Uh, and maybe... One more, one more question. Um, have you um, tried to uh, to try some other professions uh, like uh, programming or maybe uh, business analysis? Uh, because uh, IT is very wide. And there are a lot of uh, different directions, different professions, different different uh, specializations. Uh, and you, as an engineer, could I think uh, be useful for any uh, IT direction, uh, not only for testing. So, uh, am I right that uh, you choose uh, the QE because of uh, your perfectionism, or it is not true. Well, that's mostly true because I have, uh -huh. I have no idea about the IT at all in my life and about the, how it works, how the market working, how is um, um, how is it exactly going to look like. So for me, mm -hmm. it will be like, uh, you, you can imagine uh, like a mountain of knowledge which missing in your life and you have to climb up to to figure out so i just choose that one because it just came up to my mind it just close to me i don't know how it was possible mm -hmm. but it was a decision mm -hmm. which i made and i and i don't really uh, want to give up now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um Yes, I, I think I, I could agree with you that uh, QE profession it fits you. Uh, but uh, let's think about your future specialization. Uh, did you think about it, about maybe automation or performance testing or something else? Um, did you try such different specialization uh, inside the QE? No, I haven't tried because I'm just trying to figure out how the manual testing of this base are uh -huh. working and, um, about something like um, basic knowledge uh, test designs, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. because all my IT base is missing. So I have so much to do uh, before uh -huh. I can figure out what I'm going to uh, uh -huh. look like in future. So uh -huh. I'm not sure about that. I'm not really sure. The only thing which uh, I can um, share with you is just something what is coming up on my mind just by itself. I really, you know, interested about something <clears throat> which is um, actually two things. About mm -hmm. them, because of my previous job, on my last job, I was making, uh, I was working on a market. I was, you know, selling products. Mm -hmm. and I'm interested about about this, uh, you know, to make revenue, mm. to make money. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This this is a part of me, and it's just came up. I wasn't that before my job. I realized it, uh, and I'm really interested in that. And another my part, I really love something connected to maybe uh, how is this uh, how are you installing the software? Maybe something close to the developing engineer processing, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did, I was just uh, was reading and I was uh, listening to the speakers and, and then maybe by uh, by extra I will try to pay attention for that in the future. Mm-hmm. But for now I'm concentrated on uh, these basic skills which is already missing in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Probably something related to money to making money and raving in the future and maybe I will try to have a look on mm-hmm. something related to uh, developing products on itself like on servers uh, I really like uh, whenever it comes uh, where it based on my knowledge I really like something what is uh, related to the networks and uh, etc you know mm-hmm. something Something mm-hmm. like that. Uh, very interesting, Alexander. Uh, I see that you have uh, such a wide, uh, wide knowledge and wide, uh, per, like, wide directions to, to go to. And um, did you think about uh, product management, about business analysis? Because uh, if we are talking about the revenue, if we are talking about making money, uh, the product manager is the, the closest profession. Uh, in IT. So uh, what is your main interest? Uh, Perfectionism, uh, making product ideal um, from the point of view of technical things or uh, making product ideal from uh, the point of view of uh, revenue? So let's say revenue, let's say money is more. Money is more. Uh, Okay. But um, because uh, when you uh, start from the bottom of uh, testing profession, uh, revenue is your, not your point, actually. Your point is the technical, technical level of uh, the application. And um, the only way to combine maybe uh, your two interests, uh, your two goal, goals, uh, revenue with uh, some technical uh, level is uh, to start uh, working for some s- startup. Because uh, in a startup, uh, you will be doing everything from uh, your QE work to uh, some product management. Uh, maybe not a startup itself, but uh, some, mm, some company that uh, is uh, at the beginning of uh, its way to the market. Mm-hmm. Okay, because um, uh, probably you will be a bit boring if uh, you will be doing only the things um, that uh, will not be connected uh, directly in your mind to the revenue. Because um, actually uh, everything you do as a tester is of course connected with the revenue. Uh, this is the main main goal of any uh, organization to make money, as uh, everybody knows. But uh, it will not it will not be your business on the first first start of your career, of your first level, of the first point uh, of uh, your career as a tester. Okay, uh, yeah. and uh huh. And uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and uh, another another way probably uh, is uh, to start from testing. Uh, everybody, uh, sorry for uh, this uh, point of starting from testing because uh, myself, of course, uh, uh, talking about uh, QE is not a started point. QE is a profession. QE is a uh, hard thing, and we have a lot of technical knowledge and so on and so on. But uh, for some people, 
it is really a start just to see how all that things uh, work in IT. And the same start could be development, the same start could be business analysis, uh, DevOps, any uh, profession inside the IT. Because uh, if your um, real interest, if your real, um, uh, how does it say, uh, if this is what you really want, uh, is to help some organization or help your own business to make a revenue, uh, probably your direction should be towards uh, product management or some, something like that. Uh, from any, any uh, point of start, from QE, from development, from DevOps, uh, from anything, just to uh, get in, uh, the information how all that things uh, work and how to communicate with people, who are they, uh, what are they doing in IT and so on. Um, so prob probably this is your way. Oh, thanks a lot. I wasn't thinking about this um, uh, startup because I was in doubt because I heard uh, startups are not well for uh, beginners, but uh, in the future, well, yeah, this is a really great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> <That's> really, <laughs> You're welcome. Really that was the goal of our, of our meeting, actually, to, mm. to, wow, find, to find your way. Uh, okay, uh, this, is, uh, this is true about startups. Uh, that uh, they are not very uh, glad uh, to to hire some uh, newcomers, uh, some junior newcomers. But uh, uh, it depends on the startup startup uh, because um, probably some of them have no a lot of money to hire middle or you know, even senior, and uh, probably they would be okay with with junior as well and uh, your salary probably will not be very high of course in such a startup but uh, for the first uh, year of your career it could be okay or you could uh, spend this first year of your career in, in any organization just to have a line in your cv that you have an experience and then go to some startup to to help some good people to okay. make make uh, a world uh, the world better okay yeah let's say um, the money is not the first thing which was came up to my mind uh, mm -hmm. when i retired this uh, it direction because in my last job i succeed with uh, let's say i established my own financial freedom for mm. uh, Mm -hmm. for the way I need it, you know, so I don't need to think about this for a beginning mm. and for a future, uh, for a near's future, but, you mm -hmm. know, you know, especially in our country was going to happen, um, mm -hmm. but um, let's mm -hmm. say now I'm free and my hands are free, I can uh, spend my time uh, without these, you know, worries about uh, mm. uh, what I'm going mm -hmm. to do for a living, um, mm -hmm. and uh, the mind, my big inspiration, as I said before, I like to make things work. So mm -hmm. that's a good idea. This startup, maybe I'll check something and some extra information later on. But you're absolutely right uh, that I have to start from the bottom because a lot of knowledge is missing and I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for it. And I have, I'm a lucky guy, let's say that, that I have so far nothing uh, which is going to interrupt me or uh, mm -hmm. you know, I can do whatever I want for now. And I'm free, even with uh, moving somewhere to find the first job you know, and mm -hmm. to move to another city or try. I have different options. So mm -hmm. my hands are free for now. <laughs> Sounds perfect. And uh, if your hands are really free and you don't need uh, to have a high salary from the beginning, probably you could see, think about uh, some freelance projects just to get an experience mm -hmm. before, before you will uh, 
find uh, the your your dream job job because yeah, uh, there are a lot of uh, freelance projects in the at the internet and um, if you are not dependent on money it could be a variant for you so for, far yeah yeah or that's for, my that's my point and yeah yeah and uh, that will not be some um, hard working you have uh, will have uh, a lot of time to uh, get knowledge uh, you will not have some uh, hard deadlines you know and something and uh, you can be like do your job and keep keep calm okay <laughs> so yep. uh, yeah yep. So uh, that would be a direction for you as well. Oh, thanks for your advice. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. Step. It's another step. Yeah, yeah. Great. Oh. So, um, guys, probably we were found something. And uh, what about your questions? Maybe you have questions to Alexander. Maybe you have some propositions. Just feel free to ask, to propose something. We have three more people right now in our meeting. Dmitry, Victoria, Natalia. What do you think about this, all, all that? Okay. Silence. Probably they all I agree with me and they all wish uh, very good luck to Alexander. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, no questions. Right, Dmitry. Okay. Uh, so, guys, mm, probably we have found something. Uh, Alexander, mm, do you have something to add, maybe, or you have some questions uh, to me about uh, software testing, about the profession, about the career, uh, anything? Well, the hardest doubt and the hardest problem for me at this point, yes, that as you said, to try to get some experience on a very low beginning level. Um, and um, also my doubt about my knowledge is, you know, because whenever you learn something and you have very less opportunity to um, uh, experience this in a real situation, you have basically no knowledge. So mm -hmm. no skills to say that. Mm -hmm. So this is the hardest thing for me to get the skills exactly, not the knowledge. Maybe I know something, I heard about it, and then after a while you forget. And whenever you use that immediately, or maybe in a little bit, uh, just a second, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sure. It was my key, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And, and then whenever you uh, are trying to get the skills, this is the hardest, the hardest thing in the beginning. And uh, you can get the skills only when you get real job and you get mm -hmm. a real, a real practicing. And, uh, and mm -hmm. it's really hard to find. So whenever if you said uh, I can try to look up to some freelance. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give me an advice which exactly freelance I can uh, try on something like to uh, my... Actually, there are a lot of freelance projects uh, at mm -hmm. the internet. You just can Google them because um, the main problem for everybody who uh, starts uh, testing career is uh, mm -hmm. to find a job uh, just to, to get money at the first point. Uh, and this is the problem because they are uh, living their current job uh, where they um, are getting money, getting salary, and they um, 
don't have a possibility to to stop for a while and uh, to get this experience without thinking about salary and that's why i uh, typically don't advise them uh, to join some freelance projects but because uh, a lot of freelance projects are free uh, without salary and uh, so on but uh, your situation is very good because uh, you could uh, stop for a while and find uh, some freelance job uh, maybe for three months i think it mm -hmm. should be enough to get the first experience uh, to start uh, finding a, a real job with a real salary in a real office and so on and um, what else um your cv uh, should look like a real cv of some testing specialist and uh, your situation is very good uh, another reason because your cv should look uh, good uh, in comparing with uh, other people who are moving to uh, IT from other professions, because uh, your first job uh, was in technical engineering. And uh, as far as I, I uh, heard right, uh, you did some quality job on your first uh, working place. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, to find the real job, uh, after you did something as a freelancer, uh, you could uh, underline in your CV, not only mm -hmm. this freelancer job, but your previous uh, position as a technical engineer, uh, you should underline everything that you did for quality of a product. Uh, because uh, the, the software testing is very similar to that technical engineering job, actually. We have another... Um, product under test, of course, with uh, some specific, but uh, the approach, um, the way uh, of thinking, um, some things like documentation, because uh, software testing documentation uh, is very similar to other technical documentation in engineering but we are describing other things but approach is the same actually and uh, all that stuff that you did on your previous job will be very useful for you uh, to find uh, your um, software testing job because uh, your mind is already uh, can do such things and uh, everything you should know is the software testing specific so underline it in your CV and it will help. All right, thanks for realizing this. It's actually very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, that was really interesting. <laughs> yeah, for me as well. Let me, uh, I will try uh, to use your advice in the nearest future. Actually, I will try to look for it just uh, maybe tomorrow to mm -hmm. see how it looks like with the freelance uh, opportunities which you don't want to yeah. market yet. And let's say the money is not the first what is the I'm, inter I'm looking for um, mm -hmm. uh, to get the skills. But uh, let's I'll, I'll try to test my knowledge in there. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure because I was self, let's say, self-educating mostly. I took some a few courses, but the quality of them wasn't great. And I um, keep following... Uh, your business uh, with the mentor piece and everything what you guys do and uh, i really appreciate your business and i like your product and uh, if my you. knowledge will be is not so great maybe i'll see you soon and i'll try to catch one place in your group yeah i will uh, be glad so the, the next group uh, starts from september so you could join it if you want to Okay, I'll think about it. I'll try myself. I'll try the best first and then uh, mm -hmm. make a decision. So mm -hmm. I keep it up in my mind. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so uh, I think that's all from my side. Alexander, if you have more questions, you're welcome. Well, there was uh, enough information for now. I need to, mm -hmm. I need to accept. It. <laughs> and so, okay. 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 Uh, so, um, thanks everybody. Thanks a lot, Alexander, for sharing uh, your details about your career, about uh, your goals, and it was very interesting. And thanks everybody who joined us uh, on this meeting, and uh, thanks everybody who watched us uh, on YouTube. And uh, see you on next QX race. You're welcome. All right, Lilian, thanks a lot. Thanks for your time, for your advices. That was Thank great. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.